Hi guys, here I'm going to show you tricks for cleaning data that you've copied and then pasted into Microsoft Excel. And this will help take your rough, unreadable, unformatted, or messy data and make it into something nice, presentable, and workable. Before we start, check the video description and click the link to Teach Excel so you can download the files for the tutorial and follow along. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials. We want to go to Wikipedia. They've got a great example here. So it's the list of sovereign states and just a list of countries. So a bunch of them. And we want to copy the data. I'm just going to copy a little bit of the data. So this data has links, it has images, it has citation markers, it has a bunch of crap that we don't want. So I'm going to select it just like this copy it and I know you could select the entire table and if you do that it'll come into Excel formatted slightly better just slightly better but that has nothing to do with what we're gonna do here today because you're still gonna to have to clean the data so pop it into Excel paste it so now we've got the data it is here in Excel and it looks horrible <laughs> Look at this. So you could go and you could turn off text wrapping, which is what is causing this. You could go ahead and change the color. You could go ahead and change the formatting. So we could go on the Home tab and do quite a lot of this right here to make it better. So you have to click it twice when you do that. One will turn it on, then one will turn it off, and that process makes it like this. And then we can go through and do a bunch of stuff like that. However, there's one way to get most of this done super, super easy. Let's hit Control Z, go back to that. Okay, Home tab, go all the way over here to the editing thing. This little tiny eraser, I think it's an eraser. Drop down there and click Clear Formats. So that does quite a lot of it for us. It makes it so the text is a little bit easier to read. And we have this stuff out of there. But do take note, that did not kill any of the links. So there we go. There's a link here. It looks like regular text, but it's still a link. So before you go anywhere else, click it again over here and then go to clear hyperlinks. Now, if we hover over this, you can see the formatting isn't cleared if you do this one. But if you do remove hyperlinks, that kills the hyperlinks and the formatting associated with the hyperlinks. This is probably the one you want to click most of the time. So you go ahead and click remove hyperlinks. Now, if I hover over this here, you'll see that the little hand does not appear, so there is not a link there anymore. But we still have a few things to do. I'm going to zoom in first. Okay, let's go ahead and make this all one color. So while it is still selected, if you deselected it at any moment, just go ahead and click the guy in the corner here. It'll select everything on the worksheet nice, neat, and easy, so you don't have to wonder if you've selected all the cells for this text over here or not. Then on the Home tab, let's go up here under the A, select the text color black. And now let's go ahead and kill these images. So what I did when we copy pasted is we have a bunch of little images now. And if we did it for every country, that would be quite a lot of images that we have to go ahead and delete. And it's quite a pain. But don't worry, there's a very easy way to do this. On the Home tab, go all the way to the right under Find and Select and click Selection Pane. Home tab, Find and select Selection Pane. It is so easy to forget the location of this stupid thing. But there it is. And here we have all the pictures that were just imported. Now, if you have other images in your workbook, they will appear here as well. So be careful when you select the images, because what we're going to do right now is just click one of the images, so it's active over here, and hit Control A, and it will select all of them. If you want to deselect one, hit Control and click that and it will deselect it, or just control A, select everything, and then hit the delete key. And all of our images are gone that quickly. We don't have to waste time clicking each one and hitting the delete key. So once again, to get back to that, we go to the Home tab, Find and Select, Selection Pane, all the images, all the shapes, all the objects are going to show up here, not just images. So do be careful with that, but if you're on a blank worksheet or a workbook that doesn't have anything else except for the copy-pasted data, then you'll be okay with selecting everything and deleting it so long as you want to kill all the images. So that's a big one. That was a big pain for me before I found that feature out years ago. So the next thing, and this is another big pain, let's space these guys out a bit. 
Okay, not there. We have a bunch of citations. Maybe the citations are in the right. There are citations somewhere in this data. I guess it's just over here. So there's a bunch of citations. You can see them. I'll zoom in a little more. Okay. There we go. Like H right here, E right here, and I think there are about 10 more that I found. And if we go ahead and import the whole list, my goodness, that's a lot of stuff to have to double click. And remember, double clicking over here doesn't do anything, so you gotta find the right cell. Go over here, double click. Okay, let's delete this guy. Oh, and there's another one, delete that one. It takes forever, you're gonna miss them. It's very annoying. There is an amazing trick to quickly kill all of them. We're going to use find and replace with a wildcard character. Notice there's a common format with the citations. It's a left bracket, some stuff, and a right bracket. So we're going to use that to kill all of them. So you can hit Control F and then go to the Replace tab. Or, yes, before one of you reminds me again, you could hit Control H to go directly here. But I always forget that keyboard shortcut. All right, so let me zoom in here, and we can go to find what. And what you want to do here is to put the first symbol that you want to locate. So what is ever on the leftmost of what you're trying to locate. That is this opening bracket, and here it's a little square bracket, not the squiggly one. And then you want to put the multiplication sign, like that, or the asterisk sign, whatever you want to call it. And that means match any character. And then we put the character on the right side. So it's another bracket. So what this means is it's going to find any location in the worksheet where we have a left bracket, some stuff, and then a right bracket. And that stuff could be one letter, two letters, three letters, or everything, all the letters in a cell. So this could mess up your worksheet if you don't know what's in it. Here I feel fairly confident it's only going to remove the citations. So we can look down here and see the E and the H and we'll see if those get removed. And what I want to do is replace it with what? Nothing. It's just emptiness. Now we don't have to do anything else. I'm going to go ahead. If you weren't sure what's going to replace, you could hit find next and cycle through everything or find all or replace one by one just to be careful. That'll still be faster than doing it by hand. Here we're going to hit replace all. And look, they are gone. So it made eight replacements, killed eight citations that quickly. So I spent some time to cover that just to make it clear. But if I hit Control Z and do it in real time how I would do it, you can see it's rather fast. Oh, of course, Control Z is going to go through all the zooming again. But let's just get back. There we go, the citations. So to do it in real time, it'd be something like this. I'll hit Control F because I always forget. Go over here, find what, bracket, multiplication sign, other bracket, replace all, done. So it's so much faster than doing it by hand. And the find and replace can be used to clean out all sorts of characters. So even ones that we can't type, or so easily type. Let's say we want to kill all the arrows really quickly. I can go highlight the arrow, control C, hit escape to get out of the cell. Go here, find replace, paste in that stupid arrow, replace with nothing. Let's watch these guys. It should be a 3 and a 12 that have them removed. Replace all, and they are gone. So that way we don't have to look through a list of the character codes and yada, 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 and figure them out and go through all of that. And you may say, yeah, it's going to take a long time because i got arrows there, i got arrows there, i got all these things, i got a dash. Is it a normal dash? Is it that stupid Word document dash? What is it? And the thing is, if you're only going to be, and, you, and you'll say, so just put it all in a macro. And yes, if I'm going to be copy-pasting this data set all the time to be working with it multiple times, once a week, once a month, once a day, then yes, I'm going to put it in a macro, and the macro will do all of this immediately for me. I'll just copy-paste the data, hit the macro, or have the macro get the data for me and do all of it, or use Power Query Editor. However, most of the time, or a lot of the time, we run into situations where we have to copy-paste data one-off, and we need to clean it quickly. Find and replace will save you a ton of time. That, combined with the find and select and the selection pane, 
those are probably going to be your two biggest time savers. The rest, except for removing hyperlinks, is pretty much just basic formatting, and you get to that from the Home tab with the little eraser guy over here. So just do Clear Formats. If you hit Clear All, it's going to delete the data as well. So you'll notice, watch A12 right now, it'll be deleted if I hit that. Bye-bye. So let's get that back. So you don't want to do Clear All, but Clear Formats is great, and Remove Hyperlinks is amazing. Especially when the hyperlinks aren't formatted like hyperlinks, and the person you send the document to wonders why you have links in your workbook that you didn't know existed. <laughs> so that is an easy way that you can very quickly clean data that you've brought into Excel via copy-paste or really any other method. And there are really so many other things I could talk for hours about how you could clean your data, but I just don't have time for that here. So the premium course for importing data into Excel is going to have a lot more information on how you can clean the data and how you can work with the data. So that's it for this tutorial, and I hope you found it helpful. I hope you liked the tutorial. If it was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials.